Hey y'all, what is up? We are back again with another video. I got my favorite shirt. Um, so I'm about to take some pictures for Instagram for like the very first time. So right now what I'm about to do is like a little quick one, two. Um, I got my hair. I'm probably gonna put my hair up and have it fall down. So if you didn't watch my full lock video, stop what you're doing and go back and watch it. But I'm about to refresh my teeth before I um actually um do my makeup, girl. I'm train of thought going again. Um before I actually do my makeup, so let me do that and then we're gonna get straight into doing the uh the makeup or whatever. It's just gonna be like a little one-two simple beat because I'm trying to um actually catch the natural lighting before the sun go down which let me even see what time it goes down so the sun goes down in about an hour and 15 minutes so i'm gonna do a 20 minute beat hopefully 20 minutes or less and then um i'm probably gonna take a picture in like one or two outfits because i don't want my makeup to be the same and then plus i get my nails done tomorrow shout out to my nail tech if y'all don't follow me on instagram make sure y'all follow me right now on instagram so that y'all can see the content that i'm gonna create tomorrow when i go get my nails done because it's probably gonna be uploaded like before y'all see this video but yeah go back and follow me on instagram so let me refresh my teeth and then we're gonna get straight into the video um this probably is gonna be I don't know if I wanted to be a chit chat or y'all just watch me do my makeup, but we're gonna okay, get right. So, um, the first thing I do is my brows. Um, I haven't worked makeup in a long time because I have been on my skincare hiatus, hiatus, however you say it. But I've been using Coda Skin for about two months consistently now. I was using it before then, but it was on and off. It wasn't consistent. And if you know, if you're not consistent with your skincare, baby. I have it. So, right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a chit chat with y'all. I'm going to talk about a little bit of stuff, battle life, because I don't really be knowing the tea that be going on. Like, I'm really a homebody. So, yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do our brows first. Um, Normally, what I use for my brows is a pencil, of course. And I normally use this Morphe. Um, girl, hold on. Because, see, my thing likes to play with a nigga. Okay, so I use this Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the shade uh, Guava. I think I'm saying it right. Y'all, story time. So, bam. I went to get my eyebrows done yesterday. I don't know if... I'm going to let y'all see. And y'all tell me in the comments if y'all think they messed up or not. But, anyway. So, I'm going to go get my eyebrows done yesterday. And I was like, this lady messed my brows up. I called my best friend and I had told her or whatever. But, I don't know, y'all. Maybe it's just me. I got in a car accident with my grandmother when I was like really young so i have like a slit like a piece of glass that kind of made like a little dent right here in my eyes so when people be um waxing my eyebrows they are so afraid of their scar and it's like wait, which side is on i think it's this side you can feel it like you can't really see it, but you can feel it like when you get right there i have a scar right here and i have a scar right here but i covered it up with a tattoo so it's like they get really scared when they get to the tattoo it's like girl just act like it ain't done and stop making it so thin like as you can see like it's really thin but we're gonna fix that in a sec i got my mirror and we about to get straight so yeah we're about to get into our brows but i'm gonna keep on talking to y'all so yeah i just feel like when people be doing my brows mine is my nail tech which she has been booked it's like since y'all put up put some uh, 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 uh since i put y'all on it's like Y'all be taking all the appointments, so I be having to wait for somebody to cancel to get like an appointment. Then my husband's schedule keeps changing for work, so it's kind of like I've been like this since February. We are in June, so I'm gonna tell y'all this. Stop taking all the appointments, baby. I had put y'all on, and y'all wasn't supposed to do all these. Y'all wasn't supposed to take all the guy, god, god dog on appointments now. I was being nice sharing with y'all. I'm just clean. But yeah, y'all. Since his since his schedule like changed, like I haven't really been gonna get my hair done, gonna get my nails done. Really nothing cause Yeah, I don't have time to. And I don't be liking to bother my mother in law because she be having stuff going on with herself and my mom and daddy be doing a lot. Well, I'm gonna just say it's nobody so really 
watch my trim because my trim bad. And if you know, you know. If you're a parent, then you know. Like, if your trim bad, you just deal with them yourself. Like, you just don't be going to put your trim off on other people. Like, my oldest trim, they straight. But see, them little ones, nah. Mm-mm. If I can't watch them, or their daddy can't watch them, or their grandma, they just stay at home because they cry. Really and truly, like, lately, they've been going, when they go by my mother in law house, they really just be wanting to stay a day and come back. And who has time for that? Y'all tell me who. Yo, we be out of town. Or like in Biloxi somewhere. And they'll call, when you come pick us up? Like, what? We just dropped, literally just dropped y'all off. What did you talk about? So that's why I just been like, whatever, we stay at home. Usually every summer we'll plan a vacation, but my husband don't have no days off, so it is what it is. It is what it is. And I think that stuff, I'm not going back to y'all because, ever. Because I got bumps right here. Why do I have bumps right here? Any other time I get a wax, I don't never have no bumps, ever. And then also, y'all, I don't know if it's just me or... But, like, when, when I get my eyebrows wax, I do not like them to put that stuff, like, whatever oil they use, unless I see that it's baby oil. I do not like that on my face, after the fact. But, yeah, she for sure messed my bras up because... Now I'm going to have to sit here and do a whole bunch of work for absolutely nothing. So, to clean my brows up, I'm going to clean my brows up with my um, angle brow spoolie. My angle brow um, thingy thing from um, Real Technique. So, I've been using Real Technique brushes lately. And I can tell y'all, it, it really makes a difference in your makeup. I'm not even going to lie to y'all like that. Like, in real life, makes a difference with your makeup. So, I'm going to use my Fit Me Concealer for the bottom of my brows. And then I'm going to use um, my Fit Me Foundation for the top part of my brows. That way, it can blend in with my skin. So, we're just going to take this one and do the bottom first and then do the top. Or whatever. But, yeah, it's like... I've been telling my best friend, like, my children don't care about me. Because if they need, like, they wouldn't do stuff they do. And I was also thinking today, like, um, girls, like, if you're from Louisiana, BR especially, you notice that our city is the most hating city ever. Like, literally. Everybody be beefing with everybody. Everybody always got to talk down about the next person. It's like BR can't be like other states, like Louisiana, period. Like, you go somewhere like Texas or somewhere, not Texas, but you know, other states, and they don't mind like supporting uh, a business, a black owned business, or a business, period. Or they don't have like mess to talk about, about other people. And it's like, Today really showed me like people don't it don't matter if you have money or you don't have money or whatever the case might be like people still gonna talk about you they still gonna hate on you you know what I'm saying like you get with somebody they don't like to see people happy they don't like to see people flourish like it's just ridiculous like it it don't make no sense as much as many people as we have in BR from BR to I'm gonna say just New Orleans. It's like, why y'all, why y'all got so much hate in y'all heart for everybody? Like, it don't make no sense to me. But hey, that's just me. That's just my thought on it. Because I be feeling like, people don't be thinking how I be thinking. Like, I just don't. I don't get it. Y'all help me understand. Comment below. Like, if you're from another state. Like, y'all help me understand. Like, is it just like... A Louisiana thing or is that like anywhere you go pretty much I don't want to say it's everywhere you go because like I be seeing other other people you know supporting other people like I don't know I, I honestly feel like it's it's just Louisiana Louisiana thing so now we're gonna take my 
fit me and i think i need to go down in the shade on fit me but that's gonna be for another day so i'm gonna take my fit me foundation and i'm going to clean up the top of my brow y'all i can really see these bumps and it's bothering me i'm gonna have to cleanse my face so good tonight but yeah yeah and i'm supposed to be doing tiktoks and everything else and guess what i'm at i'm gonna probably do that after i get my nails done yeah, I'm going to do that. I give an answer. See, in pictures, I don't really think it matters, to be honest. And for my Fit Me, I have the matte poreless, normal to oily um, skin, which I don't even think this is for me. But it's a 356 warm coconut. So, and then in the concealer, I have, I have NARS too, which I should have used the NARS. But I have the Fit Me Cafe. Um... The 50 shade for my actual concealer. I don't like my concealer to be too light unless I'm going for a too light look. Unless I'm like taking pictures or something and I know I need that to look how it's supposed to look for like the flashbacks and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm not putting all that three tones lighter underneath my eyes. Y'all be looking crazy. Yeah, I said it. Y'all be looking crazy. This lady really messed up my eyebrow. Like, I'm so. I'm gonna go over there and whoop her ass. Okay. But I'm gonna spell her. Because I'm gonna go to But y'all, I'm really mad. Like, why would you. Why, just say you don't know what you're doing. Just say you don't. Like, let's be okay with saying, oh, we can't do this. Like, as business owners, as people, like, if somebody asks you to do something and you know dang on where you can't do it, let's be okay with saying, oh, I don't know how to do that, or I can't do it. Because, baby, if you know me, baby, anybody that ever ordered shirts for me, no. They'll be like, oh, you know how to do this? No. Oh, you, you could try? No. Because I'm telling you right now, once I spend my money, you just not getting your money back. But I don't care who you is. Okay? I'm not giving you your money back. Especially when y'all y'all be understanding. Oh, I be wanting to refund. I be your return policy. Listen, I had somebody. I have somebody that be ordering from my site all the time, and every time she orders from my website, I kid you not, she has an issue. It don't fit. Oh, it's broke. Oh, it didn't come in time enough. I don't need it no more. Like it's always something. Like I girl. So once I redo, finish redoing my site, I'm actually gonna block her from actually shopping with me because like literally the only customer i kid you not the only customer that i ever had problems with i get a lot of out of town orders from like texas i get orders from cali um pennsylvania like i get orders from all these places and none of these people ever have an issue and i used to think like oh like you know i have poor quality clothes girl no i don't and anytime I ever have poor quality clothes, like I either send it back or I'll just, I just won't sell it. You know what I'm saying? Like, or if I do sell it, it'll be for $5 and it'll be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll let you know there's something that's wrong with it because I know when I be shipping my stuff, like I don't have a team that work for me. It's me. So I know for a fact when I packaged that order, that order, like, no scrap was messed up or no stain was on the clothes at all. Like, and then if you ever order from me before, then you know all my stuff be in clear bags inside of a polymeller. So, grab it. But hey, that's why now I just... Like, I just try to custom, custom service it out as much as I can. But, girl, no. It just... It don't be doing this. So, y'all, let me finish my brows. And then I'm going to come back to y'all when I finish. Because I don't want this video to be too lengthy. Like, we don't. So, let me finish my brows and I'm going to come back. Girl, I don't be wanting to look like that, man. I'm not even about to be into like that. So, before I do anything, I like to always moisturize my face with the Pons Moisturizer. Just a little bit, girl. You don't need a lot because you don't be wanting that stuff to be. You don't be wanting it to be too much, sweetie. But you want it to be enough. And like I said, I've been. Um. I've been um cleansing my face and stuff with color skin. So. Yeah, 
That's why my skin is glowy and chilly. <laughs> Period. But we're gonna do um something simple. And I want to do the tape method, but I don't really have time for this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my concealer and I'm just going to fill it under my brow so that my eyeshadow can stick. And I'm gonna do one brow at a time with my stuff out. So I'm gonna use this brush to buff out my concealer on my eyelid. I make sure that you evenly are spreading it. I need to clean my brushes after today too because that's another issue that I that I was having. Okay, so one hour at a time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to some matte notebook, y'all. Like I really love, love, love me some matte notebook. So I might just use this one. I'm gonna just use this one. So I'm gonna go in with probably the normal these two, which are these two right here. I'll never use color, y'all. Look, I'm scary. I don't know if you use color. I'm gonna use it one day. I'm gonna try. I want to take a makeup class. So, I don't know. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade first. And I'm going to pat that into my eyes. And y'all, I always do this color. Like, if y'all look at my notebooks, y'all see, like, like, dang, girl, you can't do another color? No. And the reason why I wanted to try the tape method is because it helps when you're doing the wing. And I want to do a wing today. So, um, but I don't have no tape. So, it is what it is. So, we're just going to pat that in. And a neutral look is good when you um, don't know what you're wearing. It's definitely good when you don't know what you're wearing. So, I'm going to pat that in. Get it all even, as y'all can see, get a little bit more. Just why not? And this is the real technique um deluxe crease brush, which I just use it for eyeshadow. So and this came in a pack of like three or four of the purple ones. So yes, yeah, four. So it was these four brushes that it came with. Alright, so next I'm going to take my brown and put it within the crease part so sometimes i like to go back with the concealer with a lighter concealer um a lighter concealer and put it where i'm going to put the color and don't come for me because i ain't using no um i ain't using no brush We're gonna do that all like that. And then, yeah, it's this one. It's like a real technique uh, smudge liner. And then what I like to do is try to line it out. Girl, I'd be scared to touch my eyes. But yeah. Like I said, I'm not a pro. I'm just like chatting with y'all to get ready to do some little content or whatever. So, that's how it's looking. So now we're gonna go back in with the dark brown that I showed y'all. We're still using the same MacBook, uh, the same MacBook, uh, Eyeshadow. I'm gonna get us a couple pets on the dark brown. I'm gonna pat it so you can't see that concealer anymore. We just needed that concealer to make it uh, stick. Go in with the Fit Me concealer. And we're gonna use that brush, the real technique brush. I'm gonna evenly distribute that around. And I don't know why I'm using this big old 
big old, big old mirror. And I got a mirror right here. Crazy girl. It's a crazy girl. I also wanted to start doing like business questions. So basically like I run an online boutique, everybody know that. Um I be off and on with it because like I be feeling like I wanna be more of an influencer content creator more than like actually owning a business. But I feel like I know how to run an online boutique, that's why I do it. And plus, I done took so many classes, so it's kind of like, you know, why not? So, I don't know, like, I really want to get the feel for being a content creator, but at the same time, it's like, I don't really care for selling clothes no more. And that's sad, but I know how to do it. But, um, what I want to do is start doing, like, little, um, questions on here. So, like, y'all have questions about how to start a business and stuff like that, then... Um, I might do another poll on my story so that y'all can ask me so that um, next time I do a video, I can answer some questions. Because a lot of people be like, oh, how you, how you get your LLC? How you get your resale license? You know, what vendors? How you supposed to trust vendors? How do you order sample packs? Business credit questions. I'm just dabbling into business credit. I didn't, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm just dabbling into it. Like, I'm just getting started not too long ago on mine. So, um, it's pretty much trial and error for me right now. But I still don't mind sharing what I've learned. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a lot of people, like, they are recent, like me, like, I ain't gonna say I'm slow, but like sometimes I be feeling slow. But like a lot of people will be like me and you just, you will go looking for the stuff and then you will read it and sometimes you don't be understanding it. Or like if you get on TikTok and somebody explain it, but they don't thoroughly explain it, understand it. So like y'all get what I'm talking about. Y'all know them TikTokers that just be doing stuff of views. Like they don't really be giving tea. But, you know what I'm saying, like, they be giving false information also. And then you got people out here charging an arm and a leg to get the know stuff that you can find out on TikTok. Like, I learned, well, I'm now an Amazon influencer, so make sure you guys check out my Amazon store. Hopefully by the time y'all see this video, I have all my stuff linked on there. So, um, it was literally three steps to become an Amazon influencer. The only thing I would say is make sure that you're consistent. Make sure that um, your following is like at least a thousand and more. Because I had to sign up through Amazon Influencer through my TikTok. It wouldn't even approve my um, my uh, Instagram account. So that's that. But, like I said, like, you know, it just depends. Like, you just got to try. Yeah, I literally said that. I try to I try to link my Facebook. I try to link my um, YouTube. Like, I was literally just trying to link whatever to make sure, you know, to see if I was get approved. And finally, I was approved. And... Now I'm Amazon influencer. And like I said, I just got approved like this week. So I'm still learning how to like set it up and stuff like this. So, but I don't, I don't mind. Like, but it's like, it be people that be trying to like take advantage. Like, oh, send me your vendors list and whoop the wop, wop the woo. Like, I don't, I don't care for it. Like, 
some stuff you can look up on your own. Some stuff you can't do research on. Just don't look out for it. Don't look for a handout every chance you get. Like that that that's what aggravates my soul. To be honest. So now I'm just going back in with my concealer and um or should I do my wing first? I think I'm gonna do my wing. Yeah, I'm gonna do my wing. So I use this elf one, but I also have this um the sharper one from a crayon case. Um which is harder like it's just harder so we're gonna use this one first to kind of see child pray for us because this stuff here this will throw off your whole makeup look How they look, y'all? Do it make me look like I got a black eye? I'm gonna clean it up, but I'm gonna clean it up for sure. Let's attempt to do the other one. Now this, this is what's gonna make or break our look. It's the other eye, cause I ain't good over here yet. Alright, child, let's see. Let's see, child. Girl, I feel like if it feel shaky. Feel <laughs> shaky. Y'all, if y'all watch Lonzo lives in his videos, y'all, he be having me crick I kid y'all not like crick loop. I'm scared. Oh, I should have did a little line and left it alone. I'm scared. All right, hold on, yeah. We're gonna get together together. All right. Girl, the other wing is so big. Okay, so I apply a little of my concealer, not a lot, and I'm going to try to clean this wing up as much as possible with y'all on the camera. Before I get to sponging it out, cause baby. I've been sponging that thing clean on out. Ooh. Not too much. Not too freaking much. Eh, 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 eh. Alright. So. Ooh, we going to be king. Mm -mm -mm. Mm 
All right, so now with my sponge, with my sponge, not too much, not too freaking much. And y'all get all my beauty sponges from um, the crayon case because I just love her sponges. They last forever if your children don't show them up. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some foundation. No, I did this all backwards. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, pat this in with the wet sponge because that'll kind of help it to where it don't look too mad, mad, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. And then I like to stay within the area that I put it in because I honestly don't need it in all the other places. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I can't wait till I get like to a million followers to where like I can just go get my makeup done. I could be getting paid to get my makeup done or I have extra money to like always not do it myself. Cause chat. It's a headache share. And like I said, we're going to make sure we blend it in. Okay. And it's all about blending when you're doing makeup because if you got one side that's bolder than the other side, then it's going to all look crazy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, I think it's my foundation brush. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to take my foundation brush from Real Technique and I'm going to now apply my foundation. Which I need to buy another one of these because I like to use this for my setting, my setting um, powder as well. So just apply it. Just a little goes a long way. If nobody ever told you that. And I don't want my forehead to look too oily. And we are going to go back in with that same. Why I had. Um, different. Um, brushes for this. But like I see. Um, Zeus kind of chewed my joke up. So. That's what we had with it. Okay, so back again with that damp um, sponge, and we just wanna pat that in. Okay, I'm gonna look cute. Y'all need to find me um, a tutorial on how to do baby hair because yeah, my junk get real. And I used to have NARS. Um, makeup, but girl, I don't know what happened to her. I don't know where she went. I don't know where she went, baby. I can still, okay. So, I'm gonna highlight the areas of my nose. I feel like this is a Trisha dish dip for everybody. Hold on, my little musty ass, baby. And then we're gonna highlight the little V neck of my nose. <laughs> a lot of times I do this, but I don't do it like all the way. I probably do it to like right here. Same thing on the other side. And I do have this contouring book from Super. that I use sometimes. And then it tells you like where you're supposed to contour and stuff like that, which is helpful. So let me open this so y'all can see. Mine's kind of dirty cause I use it. I use it all the time. I usually mix that, um, the Ross and Bricky with my Fit Me powder. And I might do that this time because I like how it, how it looks when I actually do it. This uh, re revolution stick that I got a long time ago from Ulta that I also use to kind of contour with. I don't even think they sell these no more. 
but like a lot a little bit with these sticks goes a long way so mm. i done had this for a long time now. i don't know what i'm gonna do when i run out so don't ask me i'm probably gonna go back to using um uh, super uh contour thing or the crayon case thing so that's that now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use my brush to kind of do my hairline before i go back in with the actual before i go in with the actual um, beauty blender that i didn't um, that I have already kind of damp, but not soaking wet like the other one. It's just damp. Kind of make my jaw lines. Kind of crease my face a little. Create. If y'all hear my chair, they playing. And they not even heal me, so I ain't going to tell them that. They just playing. And then after this, y'all, I'm going to go in with the I think it's like a skinny brush. This one that I angle my um my contour out with. And I don't even think I did that straight, but I'm about to fix it in a minute. I just want to like <laughs> doing cutsy because it's like going down. And I hate using ring lights. Like, I just hate it. I just hate it so much. I'm going to pet this in here. And we are going to go back in with the powder and set all this so it won't have no flashback. Like I said, I missed, I mixed the Ross, the Ross Bobby, and I also have my Fit Me 380 Toffee Caramel, and I just go with those three, and I just mix them because you can, as you can see, this is a little light, and like I said, I just sit under my eyes. And I sit under my eyes. Just a little. Not too much. Not too fucking much. And like I said, I sit, I sit. Baby, when I put these lashes on, it's over for you. Okay. So I'm going to sit, 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 sit. We're going to sit somewhere. I gotta correct it. It's gonna be alright. Now, if y'all hear my dog, my turn missing him, so he gonna bulk it in because he in the cage. So yeah, that's auto correct. And I just lay him out five and start on my makeup, so I don't know why he much aching like it. Okay. I'm gonna put my highlight on my nose because I still do that because I'm childish. <laughs> okay, so next, so I'm gonna put my eyeliner on. I was doing this with, um, ooh. So we've come to the end of the road <laughs> i bought this from the dollar store i don't know why i bought it i must have known like that that eyeliner was coming to the end of the road girl because why do i have this i'm bobby Simone. i don't know who that's from but that lasted me a, a good couple years you hear me okay so now i'm gonna just go in with my Ooh, uh -uh, you a little too short, baby. Be on my ass. 
All right, so I got a little on. It ain't a lot, cause I don't really care for this right there. Let's put on our lashes. I don't know if I want to reuse some. No, I ain't gonna reuse none. I'm gonna just put it. I'm gonna put these on. Do put some setting spot on. Set spray on. Super. Go ahead, drop the setting spray so I can stop using this. Anyway. Good old God telling me, hey, you don't need to use those. Use the other ones. They're cute. God just ripped a piece of the lash off. Probably. Yeah, I want to try the Tarte um, um, concealer. I think I'm going to get that when I go get me some new foundation. Blow it to where it's not too wet. But it's sticky enough. And then you take the tweezers. And you hold it. I want to do extensions, but I don't even wear lashes like that. I only wear lashes when I own um, when I do is my makeup. So and my little sister, um, Nisha be putting hers on um, girl we one hand, like one finger. Girl, I wish I was a pro like that. I'm gonna get that one day though. So put this on. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave the dry. Well, I do the other one. Cause baby, I've been took this one off too. I think the wing takes from the lashes, unless you got like dramatic, dramatic lashes. But the other ones is real dramatic. Like they does what they do. Okay, so I decided to double my lashes up. So this is how they look. So I put one on top of the other. And until I put my clothes on, I'm gonna just put um, Vaseline on my lips. I did my little highlighter on my nose and on top of my lip, which I don't know why I put it on top of my lip because I ain't ready to put my lip gloss on. Um, but I'm about to fix my hair. After I put on my first outfit, I'm gonna come back and show y'all what it looks like. And then yeah, girl, that's gonna be it. So I'll be right back. Y'all, I almost forgot about y'all, but I just took my pictures and everything, y'all. Um, this is the finished look. Of course, I'm gonna have pictures on Instagram. Well, I'm gonna upload a reel on Instagram. I don't really know if, I don't like the pictures. Like, I wanna do lifestyle pictures, in-home pictures, just not gonna do it for me. So, this is the finished look. I did double my lashes and they are heavy and I'm about to take them off as soon as I take a, um, a picture for my thumbnail. I didn't put on gloss, y'all. I literally just put like a little shimmer at the top of my lip and put Vaseline on, cause, it was given without it so maybe when i do like a, a bust down beat then i'm gonna put on the lip gloss but that is it for the get ready me with me for content thank you guys so much for tuning in today's vlog everything that i have will be listed in the description box below if it is on amazon you know i'm gonna link it to my amazon store so y'all can shop it or whatever but most of everything came from Alton and stuff like that so thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure you subscribe show some love and i'll see you guys next time on the next vlog